Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dear students how are you today we are going to continue our topic about my prayer is the light of my life or my day um, we are going to learn the names of the obligatory prayers means obligatory means that that which is required from Allah's side we have no choice to do it or not we have to do it and we have to explain the importance of the prayer to state uh, the number of the rak'ah of each obligatory prayer, how many units in that prayer. Do you know what's the name of this masjid? Yes, it's the masjid of Sheikh Zayed in Abu Dhabi. Did you see it before? I did. Um, why do you think people, they go for masjid? What they do? Yes, they go for performing the prayer. When they go to do it, Mm -hmm. after Adan, Adan is the call for the prayer so how many times do you think the man who's calling for Adan is calling from the Manarit or from this place how many times they call for the Salah excellent, five times a day for every prayer they will call now in this story the family is going to teach their children about the names of the, the prayers Al-Maghrib, Sunset Maghrib, when it is the end of the day, the sun disappears, but we still can see shades of colors in the sky, like purple or pinkish. And then Al-Isha, night, Isha, when the dark is coming after the sunset, when it is completely dark, we call that Isha time. Then at the day also, we offer prayers, uh, which is um, noon, the mid of the day, noon, and afternoon, um, after the mid of the day. And here, I have like an issue there, wrote it with the daytime. It is not at the daytime, not that at the, um, it's more close to the night, because it's at the end of the darkness, before the sunrise. It is the dawn, we call it the dawn. So the prayers, how many prayers are? There are five, five prayers. Why the prayers are very important? Because it is one of the pillars of Islam. If I am a good Muslim, I have to pray. Um, it keeps um, us very close and it's a reason to enter the paradise if I'm praying. Do you remember what are the pillars of Islam? As I taught you, one day a man came and entered the masjid and he spoke to the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and he did say, Muhammad, what is Islam? And he did say, Islam is built on five pillars. So as I teach you, what is Islam? Islam is built on five. Shahadatan, Salah, Salam, Zakah, Hajj. What is Shahadatan? Shahadatan is to say, Ashhadu anna la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah which means there is no gods but Allah, only one true God to worship. What is Salah? Salah is prayer to pray five times a day. What is charity? Charity is zakah, to give from your saved money to the poor people. Every year we have to collect our saved money and to give part of that. What is uh, Saum? Saum is to fast the month of Ramadan. Now we are in Ramadan, we are fasting, and we still have more 10 days, then we'll get Eid, we'll receive Eid day, which is lasts for three days of celebration. We celebrate Eid for three days. Then what is Hajj? Hajj is a special journey, a pilgrimage. We go to visit the house of Allah, Kaaba. If we have the ability with money and health. So what is the, the very uh, important, uh, the Muslim in his prayers, he, um, yeah, he, he's praying to Allah, glory to him. So he will please Allah. If you are praying to Allah, it's pleasing him. And also we'll asking him the forgiveness of the sins, the big mistakes, we call it sins. And also, um, Prayer will teach us cleanliness because with every prayer we should perform ablution or wudu. And the salah also teaches us to respect the time when we offer it at the specific time, at the proper time. Also, uh, wudu is uh, something good which makes us refresh. Okay? So, are you going to learn your five prayers? Yes, inshallah. Once you are in grade two, we'll start to learn 
Salat al-Fajr, which is two rak'ah. If you are started already with your family, well done. Now, in this exercise, we have to know uh, the times of the Salawat. Remember, two prayers at the day we can see the sun we offer it during the day time and there's prayers during the night time but before that what is the second pillar of islam yes salah and how does muslim prepare himself for the prayer excellent by making wudu so what is the correct time for the sunset maghrib the end of the day before the night yes you can see the crescent moon. What about a dhuhr noon time? Of course, it is the sun during the Sunday, or the, that means the daylight. What about al fajr, the dawn? Mm -hmm. As I told you, this is more dark at the dark. We pray it at the dark time, not at the Sunday or at the sunlight. We can see the sun while we are praying al fajr. Alaisha prayer, Aisha the night. Yeah, the words are guiding us. It's at the night. What about the afternoon prayer? Al Asr, Al Asr. Excellent. So two prayers at the daylight, three at the dark time. Here is written Salati Nuru Hayati Salati. My prayer Nur is the light. Hayati, my life. So my prayer is the light of my my life, as as if I, if I have a brightness or light guiding me in my life. So the boy is saying, I will perform duhr, noon prayer, uh, and congreg uh, congregation uh, at school. Congregation mean any group, not by myself, not individual, but any group. And this boy is saying, I love our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so I will follow his example, I will imitate him, I will follow his example in my life. He used to pray on that proper time, I will do so. He he loved Allah so much, I will love Allah. He liked to offer the Prophet Muhammad the prayer and also I will offer my prayer at that specific time. There was a speech and you are not required to recite the hadith. I don't want you to memorize it, just to understand. It was narrated that Abdullah bin Mas'ud, one of the companions, the friend of the Prophet, may Allah be pleased with him, asked the Prophet one day and he said, uh, which of the deeds is loved by Allah or most by Allah? The Messenger of Allah, peace and, blessing upon, uh, and blessings upon of him, said, the prayer in Salah at the proper time, narrated by Al-Bukhari. Al-Bukhari, a man who collected lots of speeches of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu But this is the real friend who met the Prophet and he asked him. So Abdullah bin Masoud asked the Prophet, which, why do you think he's asking uh, about the most beloved or the most loved deed? Yes, because he wants to please Allah, he wants to do it. So he, what did the Prophet uh, answer to him? He said, the Salah, the prayer at its proper time. And this make me think about my prayer is a light in my life because that will make me very close to Allah. And in my Salah, I speak to my Lord in my prayer. I ask him about everything I want. I will like to protect me. Like nowadays, we have the Quran. I want Allah to help me, to save me, to cure me, to make me survive. So, so I pray to Allah, ask him to protect me and my family to make us healthy all of the time. Again, which the Muslim deeds is loved most by Allah? Excellent. Prayer at its proper time. What should I do for my prayer to be uh, a reason for entering the Jannah or the Paradise? Excellent. It's the same answer. I should offer it at the proper time. It's very important. Proper time. So what, what are the times of the prayer? Do you remember? Now, your brother, if he asks you to live, or let you play game, electronic games, like video games or anything, and to go to pray Al-Maghrib sunset prayer with him in congregation. 
like in a group together would you answer him what you will be uh, what is your decision at that time if you have been in the place of this boy for me i would say thank you my brother you remind me and of course i'll pray with you because if i pray alone or if you pray alone you'll get good deeds but once i pray to in a congregation prayer or with others my deeds will be doubled many times until 27 times double 27 times for example alone i might get 10 deeds when i am in a group i'll i'll get 270. if i got 100 deeds by myself individual prayer and congregation prayer it will be double double 27 times it will be 2700 could you imagine don't lose that chance. And now we have the names of the prayers. We want to go and to know how many rakah in each. Before we go for rakah, we have to understand what does it mean rakah. Rakah is the unit of the salah. So in, in what makes one rakah, what makes one unit, which is repeated, uh, when we are standing with Surat al-Fatiha, we call that position qiyam. Then when I go down, we call that ruku. When I stand up again, that is qiyam. When I am putting my face and my hands on the floor, we call that position sujood. Then I sit again, that is jaloos. Then I put my face again on the floor, that is sujood. Then again, sit down, this is ruku. As you hear me, I did say qiyam two times, sujood two times, jaloos two, two times. While I did say ruku one time. So from here we got the name ruku or raka because we do it one time. It means one unit. So what makes one raka? Qiyam, ruku, qiyam, sujood, julus, sujood, and julus. Once we finish those seven actions, again we repeat it from the beginning. We start again by reading Surah Al Fatiha. Now, um, this movie is talking about, and I sent it to you before, it's a song about the prayers. I'm not going to continue the whole song because already you did watch it. Now, uh, number of the or how or how many units in every prayer. This exercise is very important. Okay? So, uh, also in order, we want to make the prayers in order. Which one uh, I start my day with? Yes, the first one, before the sunrise, it is Al-Fajr, the dawn, the dawn, the Al-Fajr prayer. How many units in that? One unit, one raka, or two units, two raka, or three units, or four units? Right, two. It is the shortest prayer. What about the second prayer? It's a duhr, midday, noon, when the sun at the mid of the sky. We call that a duhr prayer. That is how many units? One unit, two, three, four. When we say unit, we, we are going to switch it with the word raka. How many raka? One raka, two raka, three raka, four raka. Yes, it's four. Now let's go for the third prayer. When the sun is moving in the in the heaven and it is like you know on the at the corner of the, the um, heaven, I can see my shade doubled or too long on the floor. That is asr or the noon time. And that time that we offer four units for raka then the one at the end of the day this prayer and this prayer are similar we offer them when there is no sun in the sky it's little bright but here more dark here more bright here it is the beginning of the day here it is the end of the day that is maghrib the end of the day maghrib sunset when the sun is sitting here with the sunrise before the sunrise here when the sunset and here it is little short like the fajr so 
it is three units. The, before sunrise, two raka the fajr, and when sunset, when it's sunset maghrib, three raka. And the last one, when it is completely dark night after the the the, um, the maghrib time, we can see shades. The sun is disappearing, but the sky is little bright. We can see shades of colors in the heaven, like pinkish, orange, purple. Um, and suddenly we start to feel the dark is coming little and little step by step till it is completely dark that time it's the end of maghrib the start of isha time how many units or reka we offer four it looks like a number like two four four three four al-fajr al-dhuhr al-asr al-maghrib al-isha al-fajr two al-dhuhr four al-asr four al-maghrib three and al-isha four as if you are communicating with Allah and speaking to him, connected to him. The meaning of the word salah in Arabic is connected or communicating. See this position, we call it rak, rukua, rukua. And we do it in every unit one time. While we make sujood and we make julus, this position is julus and sujood, we make it two times. Okay? Again, my prayer is the light of my life. Al-Fajr is very important. Al-Fajr is the first to Raka. Al-Dhuhr, the second prayer, the noon, for Raka. Al-Asr, the afternoon prayer is four. Al-Maghrib, the sunset is three. Al-Isha is four. Let's go for the next exercise. But before, remember, you have to make your print in your life. Your beha behavior is your responsibility. So uh, to memorize the number of raka of each five prayers. Excuse me if you get to uh, hear some voices around. So uh, you have to put your print in your life. Your behavior is your responsibility. So you have to memorize the number of the raka or the units of each salah of the five prayers. And also, if you love your country in your prayer, remember to pray for Allah, uh, to protect you for yourself, to your uh, parents, your mother, your father, your family, the rulers of your country, your homeland, for everyone, your relatives. Okay. Now, here, I have to match the words in column one and uh, in column two. Remember, this is very important. Okay. Al-Fajr. Is it at night or day? Right, it's at night. What about the noon? <laughs> the words are cheap, like, you know, uh, guiding us. It's at the day. What about the, the afternoon prayer, the asr? At the day. Al-Maghrib, the sunset. Excellent, it's at the night. What about Al-Isha, the night? Yes. Let's come for the next exercise. What does the Salah teaches me? If I am performing my prayer on the time that teaches us what? Respect time or order or cleanliness. Well done. It teaches me respect time. When I am performing ablution, what do that, te that teaches me? Order or cleanliness? Ah, of course, cleanliness. What about performing a correct prayer with friends in the school, like uh, on time and time by time, would teach, that teaches us to abide by order. I have to do it in order. I don't have to commit the order. Now here we have to select the correct, um, uh, the correct behavior which is considered as a good deed, makes me got good deeds. Telling the truth. Yes. What about uh, mocking or mockery at others? Means I try to uh, make jokes upon somebody and uh, in, um, in order to make others laugh at him so he will be embarrassed. Do you think that is pleasing Allah? Of course, no. What about cooperation? Yes, helping others. Abiding by the school order, abiding, committing, uh, commit or following the school orders. Yes. 
helping the needy, like the poor or the sick or the elderly. That's right. Or looking after my, my uh, young brother or sister. Upsetting neighbors. No, of course, no. Obeying parents. Yes. Who comes after Allah and the messenger of Allah? We have to follow his instructions. Our parents. What about quarreling, uh, quarreling and fighting with our classmates? Of course, no. Now, uh, whom do you think of those two groups? The people who's doing good deeds and the people who's doing bad deeds. Which one of them is going to win the love of Allah? The people who's doing good deeds or bad deeds? Well done. Which one is going to win the love of parents who's obeying the parents uh, or doing good deeds or bad deeds? Of course, the people with good deeds, but also um, doing good deeds make me win the love of the people the friends the family everybody teachers everybody around us you will win their love while the people with bad deeds nobody will love them they will lose the love of those and um, here i want you to think about the surah of quran we are going to learn it inshallah in the um, uh, following next two weeks uh, it is in that salah uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glory to him, command the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace upon of him, to pray and to slaughter an animal, sacrifice it. This is Surah Al-Kawthar, that's right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, inna a'tainaka al-kawthar, fasalli li rabbika wanhar, inna shani'aka huwa al-abtar. Allah is saying for Prophet Muhammad, don't worry about people who are saying bad words to you. And uh, because we gave you the river, Kawthar, Al Kawthar, river, a name of a river in the Jannah. Fasalli, pray, Fasalli, one heart, sacrifice, one heart, sacrifice. So the two orders in coming in Surah Al Kawthar. That's well. Now, dear students, I hope you enjoyed our lesson. I want you to go on to uh, do the quiz. See you next week. Bye.